Jimmy Tibbs, thanks for te- talking to Frank Warren. TV. I know you're a little distracted because your man behind you, Billy Joe Saunders, is just putting the finishing touches ahead of his first professional fighter. Uh, I know you haven't had him for that long. I mean, how long has it been now that he's been with you it's for? It's been about three and a half weeks. Three weeks. And in that time, what do you sort of work on? Three weeks before a boxer's first professional fight, what do you need to concentrate on? Well, we need to con- concentrate on his natural boxing ability, which he's b- born with. Uh, anchoring down for the body punches, uh, which he picks up right away because he's a natural fighter. He just picks everything up so quick. And that's why he's looking very, very good in training. I mean, how important is that in a boxer's ability, how quickly they learn? Well, it's very important. If they learn, the, if they learn very quickly and take you on board and really want to learn, he can pick up everything. He can, as long as he becomes more mature, like within the, say, couple of years, they're going to give him as a little run out. Um, and he picks it up very quick. He's going to finish up one out of a fire. And obviously people who know their boxing know you've been in the boxing game a very long time. Yeah. Just give us a little rundown of your history, Jimmy. First of all, how long have you been in the boxing game? And tell us some of the great names you've actually trained. Well, I started off when I was 11 years of age. I'm 62 now, so <laughs> I've been training fighters. Uh, I was a good pro, good amateur. Uh, trained um, the likes of your Frank Bruno, Nigel Ben, uh, Chris, Chris Pyatt. Uh, many more that I can't think of at the moment, and uh, British champions, European champions, Commonwealth champions. Uh, it's been a wonderful ride, you know. And now, now this is coming to not coming to the end because I've got another one coming along after Billy Joe. He's going to be a good fighter. I was going to say that. I mean, after all that, being in the boxing game for such a long time, what does it do for your natural enthusiasm to have a young Billy Joe Saunders coming through through the ranks? Yeah, well, it's uh, it's relighted my fire. I can tell you that now. Uh, I was never fed up with a game. I've always worked with uh, Johnny Eames at the uh, TKO uh, gym. And uh, but when you've got a fighter, you're given to train from the beginning. It's a bit. It is a big buzz. And you was working with your son as well. Tell us a little bit yeah. about. Uh, is it Mark? And Mark, uh, yeah, Mark, yeah. What's his job in your camp? Well, he's co-trainer. And uh, as you see, he's taken over the um, skipping session there. Uh, he will be doing the groundwork for Billy Joe in a minute and sorting his, uh, his diet out for him. And everything's going very well. Um, you know what shocked me today, watching him in the uh, ring? I know obviously knew he was a southpaw, but his ability to switch from south yeah. to orthodox yeah. stunned me. Yeah, he can, he's a switch here, but it suits him to stay southpaw for the moment. But in a long fight, I wouldn't say about the four rounds, because four rounds is very short, but in a long fight, you'll be seeing a lot of Billy Joe switching. I mean, what does that do for a fighter in terms of how good or how dangerous does it make them when they can switch like that? Well, for the opponent, it's very dangerous. They don't know which way it's coming from. Like your junior witters, your Nazim, Prince Nazim, Amid, the switch hitters, uh, and big punches. And he can punch when he wants to punch, Billy Joe. But he's a brilliant boxer and we must never, ever take that away from him, his natural ability. We've just got to keep adding to it adding to it and that won't come overnight that comes over a period of time he's got a wonderful promoter in Frank Warren a good matchmaker in a very good matchmaker in Dean Powell and let's hope he's happy with his training after this first fight what instructions do you give to a young boxer in that before their first professional fight so what instructions will you give to Billy Joe Saunders well he's learned most everything he knows a lot he's just go out there and enjoy it concentration that's the main thing must be concentrated, then they let him do his own thing. There's a real temptation, isn't there, to go in there and try to impress. It's your first well, fight. He, I think he's a little bit exper- too experienced for that. He knows uh, he's around good people, and he's just got to relax. But the mind has got to be right. It's, it's more of, Now, at this stage of the game, it's more of a mental thing than f- physical. He's already fit. He's not going to get no fitter. If I was training him for a 10-round fight, it wouldn't be much older. Yeah. So he's, he's there, he's ready. Looking forward to Saturday night? Very much so, yes. Yes, I am. Thank you very much.